Good morning, it's Tuesday the 30th of March. So here I am in the garden this morning with some signs of life. Last autumn I carefully lifted all my dahlia tubers. Sarah and I clean them off before wrapping them in paper and storing them at the back of a cool wardrobe. And a couple of weeks ago we unwrapped them, they were shriveled and dry and to all intents they look dead. But after two weeks in some damp compost then there are signs of life. They're producing shoots that will hopefully lead to healthy plants and to lots of flowers over the summer. Just one of the joys of gardening and seeing that which looks dead begin to shoot and sprout and grow. The same is true of seeds which often look brown and dead and yet soon when they're in the soil and they're warm and they're watered begin to germinate and grow. Jesus spoke about a seed in John chapter 12 when he said unless a grain of wheat falls to the earth and dies it remains just a single grain but if it dies it bears much fruit. Hopefully that'll be true for some of the seeds I'm growing as well. Plants like my courgettes and my French beans hopefully will bear much fruit from a single seed. And yet, I think Jesus was giving more than gardeners' world advice here. He was also speaking about life and our lives, about the challenge to give up self for the benefit of others. He was the ultimate example of giving up a life so that other people might be transformed. These are the fruits of his one life. In this Holy Week, we have time to reflect on the sacrifice Jesus made in order that others would see the fruit of his love in their lives. Last week, on the day of national reflection, there was a broadcast from Winchester Cathedral. And the centre of the cathedral along the floor was what they called the Meadow of Hope. It was a giant cross made up of living grass. My notes are nearly blowing away today. It was a cross made up of living grass, in amongst which were growing spring flowers like primroses and daffodils. What a wonderful image! A reminder that the cross is both a symbol of death and resurrection, of suffering and hope. One of my favourite Easter hymns is the hymn Now the Green Wind Rises. It's not triumphant or celebratory. But quietly it expresses the hope of the resurrection that overcomes death and brings life and hope. The last verse seems so appropriate to where we find ourselves at the moment. It says this. When our hearts are wintry, grieving or in pain, then your touch can call us back to life again. Fields of our heart that dead and bare have been. Love is come again like wheat that springs up green. So we pray. Loving God, as we journey through Holy Week, we remember the suffering of your Son and the suffering of the world. In the midst of pain and hardship, may we see signs of hope and new life. May we know your transforming love in our worlds, in our community, in our hearts. Amen. <laughs>